Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Returning Subbies. Those who are watching for the first time, welcome. Today I'm doing a plan with me in my A5 Foxy Fix. Yes, there is a Foxy Fix in here. This is my planner cozy, which I made. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out my planner. We're gonna be planning for the week of, this is the ninth, right? Yep. We're already in the 9th of March. So March 9th through the 15th is what we're planning for. And I'm going to go ahead and get the Foxy opened up. But first, let me show you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this kit, which is new to my shop and has been released today, Monday, March 9th. So this kit is called bloom because as you know we're in the month of march and the 19th is going to be the first day of spring so i have this kit along with another one to be released for um, march just showing um the the entrance of spring flowers blooming that sort of thing so this one is called bloom and it has scriptures in regards to bloom on it so the first one here says and they of the city shall bloom like the herb of the earth and that's Psalm 72 16 this full box down here says and the vines in bloom give forth their fragrance that's Song of Solomon's 2 13 and this full box here says it will burst into bloom and rejoice gladness and shouts of joy. That's Isaiah 35 and two. And these are also full boxes that are here. So you're gonna see me put this together. And these kits come with six full boxes. It's got the headers here. These headers have beautiful leaves on them. It comes with three flags that have the hearts, hearts for the checklist. There are four teardrops. And on this sheet, there are it can't be seen clearly, but when you pick it up, there are two bottom washies which fit the Happy Planner. And then there is a set of bottom washies here that fit the PP Weeks. So this kit is perfect for your classic Happy Planner, your PP Weeks, or your mini Happy Planner size. There are um, eight um, boxes. <clears throat> These are your date and date dot boxes that you would use to put the day of the week and then the date dot and then there's an extra one in case you're using the PP weeks or for whatever you, whatever you want to use it for. Then there are the quarter boxes. There are five quarter boxes for you to use and then two flags here on the bottom. <clears throat> and that is the kit. The kit also comes with a sheet that has the days of the week it has these um, faith scripts, which say affirmation, key verse, Bible journaling, gratitude, devotional prayer, Bible study, and scripture writing. It also has the date dots, which are dated from 1 to 31 for you to use. This particular kit is foiled, but it can come without the foiling, or you can choose to get the foiling, which comes in rose gold or the holographic foiling. I think this one is so cute and I'm going to enjoy laying this one down today. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Probably some sinus issues. I Yeah, because I've been a little nasally. So excuse the voice and excuse the ink on my hands. That's just me. Always playing around with my fountain pens. And we're going to go ahead and get started with this plan with me. I'm also going to be using this doll from Golden Plants Co. So without any further prolonging, let's get into this plan with me. And if you want to see how this layout turns out for this week, then go ahead and stick around.
Okay, I am done with this layout. I love how it turned out. I'm trying to do something a little bit different this week. I used some of the Simply Gilded Washi, which I think the color matches this layout just perfectly. And it has the hints of rose gold in it, just like the kit. So I, what I did was to lay down most of my full boxes at the top. And then my checklist in the middle and so on and so on. I love how this doll goes with the color of this kit. Uh, I put one of the uh, Miss Moss little dolls down here to indicate Happy Mail coming Monday. Uh, my little shopping cart from my shop I put here for grocery on Tuesday that needs to be done. Um, this Bible journaling sticker and the Illustrated Faith, um, Faith Bible is from my shop as well. Um, I'm just telling you, but not showing you, this is the sticker sheet. And to indicate, I'm going to do some batch Bible journaling. I've got this girl here, which is from the Sugary Gal shop, which was a digital download. Just to indicate that I need to ramp up some, some work um, that I need to do. I'm going to be working through, on some things throughout the week, but I really need to ramp it up. And um, I've got space here to add whatever on Friday. But I did um, use also the Bible journaling stickers that are from the scripts that I have in my shop. And I indicated that Bible study. It says Bible study. That's what I was putting down all throughout here. Um, I'm good with my Bible study daily. But just as an added accountability, I just thought I would put it down there. I have it. So why not use it? Right? And I just love, love the foiling on this. I hope this is coming across on the, on the camera. This is just beautiful. And I love the scripture that's on the full boxes that, you know, I can just look at when I go into the planner daily. So this is the layout. Let me know if you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Um, I hope you consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed and hitting the notification bell. And I just appreciate you guys for, um, for watching. Also, comment below. Let me know what you think of the new kit. It is in the shop today. Another one will be released um, in the next week or so. So, that is it for today's um, plan with me for this week of the 9th through the 15th. You guys be blessed. Bye-bye.